Hi hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're, we're gonna be doing a, a short, maybe kind of ranty video about uh, checking a freaking core resistances on, on GPUs because I've gotten yet another email from somebody who thinks that they have a resi uh, they have a short circuit on the output side of the vCore VRM, which they don't, but anyway, well, probably don't because they measured it wrong, so I actually have no idea what's wrong with the card, but hey, that doesn't change anything. That's 90% of messages from people asking me to help them repair something. I get no useful information to start with. So, you know, anyway, here we're first going to prove that this GPU right here works. So there's my hand and we're going to turn it on and the monitor's right here. So you're going to see the monitor turn on. And here we go. All right, GPU works. As you can clearly see, it, it has display output, so we'll call that a working GPU. We're gonna turn that right off again. And now we're gonna take a few measurements of our various resistances on this GPU and, and see if we have short circuits or not. Because uh, to make it extra realistic, we're gonna use continuity mode, like all of the people who send me emails about how their GPU doesn't work. Because, uh, you know, th th that's how you find out if, you're, if your GPU works or not. And why the hell is it point where? I'm super confused right now. Where is the camera? There we go. Stupid webcam. Anyway, um, let's grab the GPU. Oh. Without the HDMI cable, please. And right, I need to disconnect the fans. So here's our lovely uh, GTX 1080 Ti, right? There, there's the there's the front of the heatsink, so that you know I haven't swapped the card. You, you can see right there. I've removed it from the system. So now now we're gonna check check our uh, we're, we're gonna put our lovely multimeter here in continuity mode, right? Because uh, we really don't want to achieve anything today with with our measurements, um, and and we're just gonna check uh, if we if we have continuity across. Uh, one of these capacitors, which are on the vCore VRM. Oh, oh no! Our, our GPU has a short circuit on the on the vCore VRM. Whatever will we do? Except it fucking works. So, yeah, that you know. Um, so why? <laughs> so so you know that's great. Um, what what about our memory VRM? Do we have a short circuit on our memory VRM? Oh no! Our memory VRM is also shorted out. Whatever will we do? It's, it's, it's the fuck. It's the working GPU, damn it. So, anyway, if we actually like put this multimeter into a useful measurement mode, like resistance, um, we will know that if we measure across these two capacitor pads right here in the middle, right, right behind the core. So I'm measuring. Whoops, microphone. Stupid. Why don't I have better equipment? Oh, that's right, because I blow all of the budget on GPUs and the rest on food and rent. Um, Oh, right, I turned off autofocus because it was being stupid, and now, now I'm trying to use autofocus, and, and it's not working. There, so I'm measuring just across the, the pads right right there, the big big pads right there. Like, you know, there, there's that capacitor over here, this big black one, and obviously there it's not missing, so I'm using the pads, pads left behind for that capacitor to, to check our resistance. That's what we're going to measure across, right? And... We take our measurement, and I'm just going to turn the brightness on. You may notice that I'm going to flip it over for you as well, because, you know, I want to make it extra clear. Can't have any difficulty understanding what I'm trying to deliver here. Um, I can't read that. Is it flipped? It must be flipped, right? Give me a second. Oh, yeah, it is flipped. I, Man, I am so bad about keeping track of which they, uh, like, there, now now it's the correct way. Yeah, now you can read it. Yeah, awesome. I was wondering why it was looking so weird. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. I, sh I should not be allowed to make videos. Anyway, there. So, as you can clearly see, our GPU core resistance is 0 0.17 ohms, uh, 170 milliohms. And if we actually measure across the same pad... You may notice that we have about 50, uh, 50 ohm, uh, 50 milliohms, and so those 50 milliohms are obviously just like resistance from the probes themselves, the contact resistance of you know stabbing the probes into into something, and just general resistances everywhere. Um, 
And then the remaining sort of 110 milliohms are the actual GPU core itself. Right, which is why when you try to check the VRM of this GPU in continuity mode, you'll think you have a short circuit when you don't. Also, if you have a regular multimeter and measure across the back of a GTX 1080 Ti, you're going to think you have a short circuit. Like 90% of the time, because most multimeters will either tell you you have 0 0.1 ohms or like 0 ohms. Um, again, depending on just, you know, the multimeter. So basically, if you plan to work on any 10 series GPUs, and especially like if you want to work on any 10 series GPUs, I strongly recommend that you pick up a four point, uh, a four point milliometer or like a, a desktop multimeter, right? And not, not one of these handheld ones, but desktop multimeters will usually have a milliohm function. Um, or you can pick up a, like the, one of these key sites because these do actually go into the milliohm range. It's just that, you know, um, like the reason why, like that's actually the main reason why I have a key site instead of a fluke is I really wanted milliohm range. And I assume the reason why fluke doesn't have milliohm range is because, well, you get measurements like that where, you know, they're really kind of problematic because of just re like contact resistance, the resistance of the probe wires themselves and just, it's not a very reliable, like it's not a really you particularly... Like, it's not like I'm measuring something and it's like, okay, this is a useful measurement. It's just kind of a case of like, well, the, I know what a short circuit looks like and what, a, what what it should, like, it should be roughly something like this and it shouldn't be something like that. That's roughly what use that milliohm range has for me. So, yeah, because it's obviously not super accurate because this is just two probes. And if you want accurate milliohm range, then you need like four point probes. Um, and you need to use a, a four point uh, probing technique. Anyway, um, and then like the memory VRM, well, the resistance of that is, uh, well, the memory memory itself is about 50 ohms, right? Which, which is pretty normal for most modern GPUs to have a memory resistance of about 50 ohms. So let's move this thing out of the way because this evidently works and I'm not sure if I, okay, that was off. Anyway, um, because I'm stacking that GPU on top of the motherboard and I don't want to shorting anything out because <laughs> of the metal fan clips. Anyway, uh, here we have a GTX 780 Ti, just so that you get a better idea of what, what it looks like when you have a GPU that isn't, you know, a nightmare to measure on. Um, there you have about 4.2 ohms, right? And, and that's a working 780 Ti. This is a working 780 Ti. If we measure our memory, um, we have about 80 ohms, right? So, and I think at this point it won't buzz continuity, will it? Yeah, so, uh, no, it still buzzes continuity. <laughs> yeah, it still buzzes continuity. So as you can clearly see, even on something like a 780 Ti, where you have much more resistance on everything, because this is GDDR5, not GDDR5X, this is 28 nanometer, not 14, uh, wait, 16, TSMC 16 nanometer, um, this is 28 nanometer, right? The still continuity mode is completely bloody useless because the entire, like the output of the vCore VRM is a very low resistance area. Anyway, the only way you would get a high resistance measurement is if some, if you desoldered the, the chip. If you desolder the chip, then you're going to have a relatively high resistance on the output of the VRM. It's still not going to be that high because the feedback circuitry for most voltage controllers is normally built with like a hundred, like with, uh, roughly a hundred ohms to ground or less than that sometimes. So yeah, e even if you like desoldered the chip, um, I would honestly expect the output of the VRM to register as about 100 ohms or, or somewhere around 100 ohms, like 50, you know, so something in that range. But uh, anyway, um, you know, th there there is one high resistance rail on this GPU and that's this little rail down here, which is the PEX. And if we measure that one, um, well, actually, no, that's still continuity mode. Um, they're put it into resistance mode. And I'm evidently having a hard time getting through. There we go. And that's uh, 0 0.532 ohms, right? So there, um, if I could hold the probes down. 
So, um, yeah, and this is a working 780 Ti, that's a working 1080 Ti, so stop using continuity freaking, like, stop using continuity mode for troubleshooting the output of a vCore VRM. And the same goes for, like, CPUs and GPU, like, GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, well, motherboards, if you don't have the CPU installed, should be about 100, 100 ohms, uh, or higher. Um, some motherboards will be even kilo ohm range, um, but, yeah, basically... Continuity mode is not good for anything except high voltage rails because the low voltage rails are probably very low resistance. In fact, I've been like for my own personal use, I've been like documenting the various resistances that I've measured on functional GPUs so that when I'm working on them and I screw something up, I can do take a measurement and, and know if it's screwed up or not. Um, which, you know, is often very difficult as the 1080, 1080 Ti perfect demonstrated perfectly. But, um, uh, like, if you look at, like, a GTX 580, right, a GTX 580 core, which is a JF110, the JF110 functional has a core, uh, uh, has an electrical resistance of 0 0.5 ohms, um, plus minus, like, 200 milliohms. So, I think my GTX 590 has one core, which is 0 0.3, and then it has, the other core is, like, 0 0.4. Right, and, and that's normal. That's that's a fully functional GTX 590 right there. And it's just like, yeah, the cores are super low resistance. It, it is what it is. Funnily enough, 28 nanometer GPUs tend to be about two ohms all the way up to like 10 if the die is really, really small. Um, so we're talking like by really, really small, I mean like a, like an RX, uh, no, R, R7-260X, right? An R7-260X, you might measure like 10 ohms across the core, uh, well, from V core to ground. Um, but uh, if, if you're looking at a lot of other GPUs out there, it's just, well, it, it's, it depends on what exact GPU you're looking at, right? Like the GTX uh, 560 working should be like, um, I'm not sure now. A working GTX 560 should be, I think it's about an ohm. I've, I've not checked my one. Um, but yeah, you, like you get the idea. Okay, like that that's all there is to this video. Whoa, this this is actually relatively short by my standards. So, yeah, hopefully I don't get any more emails or messages from people telling me that uh they have GPUs with short circuits on the output on of output of the Vcore VRM because they measured the resistance and it's either really low or in the worst case, uh they used a multimeter in continuity mode and the damn thing beeps because of course it does because there's not supposed to be any bloody resist like there's not supposed to be a lot of resistance on the output of the vcore vrm um if you're actually measuring like it, it like the only time i would think a gpu core is actually shorted well like well depends on the generation right if i measure like an r9 fury where the core resistance is supposed to be three ohms and i measure 0.1 then yes, we have a problem. There's a short circuit. But if I have a GTX 1080 Ti and I measure 0 0.1, then it might, like, it could still be a fully functional card. It may not have a short circuit at all. It might just be a very, very low resistance uh, core sample, right? Because again, there's also some variance to it. Like, I, I don't think, like, I have three different Fury, um, actually, no, I have four, two Fury, three Fury, wait, how many Furies do I have? Is it two or three? It's two. I have two Fury X's and two Furies there. Okay, so I have two Furies, two Fury X's. If I measure the core on every single one of them, the measurements are slightly different for each card. Okay, so also keep that in mind. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down. In Actually, do not leave questions about repairing things. Uh, th that's the other like issue I have is just like I don't I'm not like a repair shop I have not repaired that much stuff so while here and there I get lucky and something starts working after I do something to it um, it's not like I go through so many cards that I'm going to be able to troubleshoot things super quickly on site okay is like and also just like knowing like I, I might have a relatively easy time identifying issues assuming I have the card in hand, but getting questions where, you know, it's just like, I, like one thing that really annoys me is like, I ask for a measurement and the, the person who, who I'm trying to help doesn't even know what the hell they're supposed to measure. At that point, it's really difficult to do anything, right? So yeah, um, pl please don't send in repair questions because 
that like mo like I'll probably not be able to help you most of the time. Okay? Um more like I don't even want to help you. <laughs> Cuz it's just like Cause it's probably gonna suck unless you know what you're doing roughly, and and you need to just check on. Uh, well, actually, I can't think of anything. Like, if you know as much as I know, then you shouldn't need to ha ask me in the first place. And if you know less than I know, it's gonna be real. Like, it's gonna be really hard for me to to help you with much of anything. I think. So. Yeah. Anyway. That's gonna be the end of the video. God, this turned out awful, and now it's long. Oh, right, and I have a Patreon and, uh, and Teespring. There's, like, shirts and socks and other merch you can buy. Well, there will be other merch once I get around to designing it. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll press the stop button before this ends up 20 minutes.